Hi, this is Joshua with Greater Than Gatsby. Today I'm bringing you another edit with the brand new Cult Classics collection. This rich, warm, moody set is perfect for the photo we're going to be using today. This was shot by Cindy Arthur Photography, and we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with a one-click foundation, and let's use I'll Have What She's Having. So that brightened it, warmed it, gave us kind of a really good starting place. We're going to go into the artistic tones, and I'm going to play by Felicia. And I like what that did, but it's a little too strong, so let's bring that down to 40%, and then let's also add some more warmth. We're going to do O'Doyle Rules. All right, that's perfect. Let's bring it down just a hair. All right, next we are going to add some movable sunlight. So let's go ahead and play Goldie Hawn. And we'll bring this up here where the sun naturally would be. I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger. All right, I think that's good. So next I'm going to mask this off of her face and underneath her hat and anywhere the sunlight wouldn't actually be. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have a white layer mask, so we need a black foreground color to erase it. And we'll just go ahead and get rid of it completely under her hat and off of her face. And then let's bring the opacity down and get just a little bit off her hat. We want to make this look natural. There we go. I'm good with that. The sunlight's not quite where I want it to be, so we're going to come down here into the toolkit brushes and play these go to 11. Now this is the sun enhance brush to where it really adds richness into that sunlight. And I'm liking this color a little bit better. We'll go ahead and put it on the tops of the flowers where the sunlight's hitting just to make sure that all this can be nice and blended. And you can kind of see what that did. I add just a little bit more up here. All right, so I'm really noticing a... Uh, a major color cast on her skin. It's very red here. You've got some red kind of down here on her legs. So this tends to happen when you start editing really warm. And so I created an overly warm skin fixer section. So let's go ahead and grab the orange to start with. And I'm just going to come up here and brush it off her skin at a medium opacity and anywhere else where I see kind of some of these orange skin casts. And then next, let's play the one for the red casts, because I'm seeing a lot of red down here on her legs. And that was way too much, so let's reduce the opacity to 30%. There we go. That helped a lot. I may actually run this just a little bit on her face as well. All right, looks good. Next, let's come down into the special effects. I'm going to play Why is the Carpet All Wet Todd? Brings a little bit of punch and clarity into the photo, but that's a little too strong. So we'll bring that down to 30%. And then I want to play one more, something that's really going to give it a lot of richness. So let's play Say Hello to My Little Friend. And whoa, that gave it a lot. So we're going to bring that way back. I like what it did to the background. I don't like so much what it did to her skin. And so let's go ahead and brush that off. Alright, and then for the 
final step, we are going to do a little dodging and burning. So I'm going to play intensify the highlights. And we are just going to start painting this onto her clothing anywhere where you see the highlights. This is going to give it kind of that 3D effect once we're done with it. Again, I'm doing this a little bit quicker than I normally would in an edit for a client, but I want you to just kind of get a quick idea of what this can do. And then we'll do the same on our arm. And then let's go ahead and do deep in the shadows. And same thing, we're going to start painting this where we see the shadows. All right, I think that is good. Um, let's actually go back up here. I want to add a few pops of light. So let's play Party On Wayne. And I just kind of want to add this a few places on the field. I'm going to add a little bit of this to her hair because it got kind of dark, mainly in the places where the natural highlights shine. And then I'm going to bring the opacity down. I'm going to put just a little bit of this underneath her hat. There we go. So you can kind of see that that brought out some of those shadows. And I think that looks good. So let me show you the before and the after. The before and the after. All right, well, if you want to purchase the Cult Classics collection, you can find it at www.greaterthangatsby.com. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, see you at the next video.